Hi to all. This is eighth class science lesson, unit one, measurement. The lesson name is measurement. Here, after the lessons, we have choose the best answer. <coughs> the first part is choose the best answer. We have to find the answers for the following questions. The first one is, which one of the following systems of unit is the British system of unit? We have four answers here. We have to select the best answer for them. A. CGS B. MKS C. FES D. SI So out of these four, we have to choose which one is correct. So we will see this portion where it is coming in the textbook in the lesson. This is the page where it comes. So we will find the box uh, message which explains the question. The CGS, MKS and SI units are metric system of units and FPS is not a metric system. It is a British system of units. So it is very clear now the FPS is not a metric system and it is a British system. So the question is here which of the following four is not is the British system of unit. So it explains clearly from the lesson which is C F P S is the British system of unit. We can move to the next question. Electric current is a dash quantity. We have four options here. A. Base. B. Supplementary. C. Derived. And D. Professional. Out of these four, we study only two in the lessons. A. Base. And C. Is derived. These two quantities are mentioned in the pages of the lessons. So out of these two, we have to select on the correct best answer, whether it is a base or derived one. So we will see that page and what it was mentioned there in that page. So you can see the base quantities. You can see the table 1.1. It mentions base quantities and units. It's not a derived quantities. It clearly mentioned as base quantities. You can see the fifth row here, electric current is the <coughs> base unit, base quantity of base quantity with the units mentioned in this table. So the question is electric current and it was mentioned in the base quantities. From this we can find out that so the current electric current is a base quantity. It is not a derived quantity. So that was the answer for this. Okay. Then we will move on to third question. The third question was SI unit of temperature is dash. We have four options here A Celsius, B Fahrenheit, C Kelvin, and D Ampere. <coughs> you can see this table again, it shows the basic quantities and units. Here you can see the temperature. The fourth row, it was mentioned as the symbol, unit was Kelvin and the symbol was K. So the question here is, SI unit of temperature is C Kelvin. So that will be the answer. Again, the fourth question, luminous intensity is the intensity of dash. We have four options here, A, laser light. B. UV light, C. Visible light, and D. IR light. We can analyze these force. The laser light and UV light, ultraviolet light, and IR light, both are not visible to our eyes. But a laser light and visible light can be visible through our eyes, human eyes. So from these two, we have to find one which is correct. The luminous intensity is the intensity of visible light is the answer. We can found this answer in this page 
what I have shown here and the box which mentions the answer. So the final answer is visible eyes. The fifth question. Closeness of two or more measured values is called as dash. We have four options. A. Accuracy. B. Precision. C. Error. And D. Approximation. So what will be the answer for this? You can see this page and we will find the answer here. Here is the explanation given. Accuracy is the closeness value to the actual value or true value. Precision is the closeness of two or more measurements to each other. So the closeness of two or more measured values is called as dash means we have to answer it is as precision. Precision is the closeness of two or more measurements. So the answer will be out of this four B. Precision will be the correct answer. Okay. We will move to next question. Which one of the following statement is wrong? A. Approximation gives accurate value. B. Approximation simplifies the calculation. C. Approximation is very useful when little information is available. D. Approximation gives the nearest value only. So the finally, out of these four, approximation gives accurate value. So it was very contradiction statement because approximation is two or more measured values which is very near. It says approximation but accurate value is very accuracy one. So the statement A is the wrong one. Approximation gives accurate value is the wrong one. We will see in the next section.